The following is to explain how a parity check is conducted when transmitting data over a network. So basically the purpose here is to add an extra bit to the end of each packet. This bit is, even, is used to make either an odd or even parity. An even parity is when there's an even amount of ones in the data packet and an odd parity is when there's an odd amount of ones in the data packet. During handshaking it is agreed between the two devices whether there will be an odd or even parity. An error is detected when the parity is not the same as the designated parity at the receiving end. So here is a number of examples of certain parities. So if I have the number 1 and my parity bit is 1, the data sent is 1-1 one, one, and there's a two ones which makes it an even parity. If I send the number 1-0-1-0 and add a 1 as the parity bit, there are three ones and it is an odd parity. If instead I sent a 0 as my parity bit, it would maintain an even parity. And if I had uh, six ones and add a seventh, it gives you an odd parity. So let's look at a data transmission. So traditionally there's seven bits in a normal ASCII character and the eighth bit would be our parity bit. This scenario, we want an even parity for checking our data. So we're gonna send a certain character. The first one is the capital E, 1000101. The parity bit is one, which maintains an even parity. The next one is A, 100001, with a zero, keep, keeps it at two ones, which keeps it even. Now with C here, there has been two bit swaps. Okay, I've added the parity bit of one, but there's an error, but it would go undetected because it's still maintaining an even parity. And this is one of the main issues with parity checking. It's only if there were an odd amount of ones left in my transmission that an error would actually be detected. So we've got to understand that there are some issues with parity checking. The first one is errors will not be detected if there is an equal number of bit swaps, which would maintain the actual parity of the transmission. Secondly, adding an extra bit to every packet or byte greatly increases the amount of data that needs to be transmitted. So I hope this all helps you understand how parity checking works. Basically, if there's an even amount of ones, it's considered an even parity. An odd amount of ones means an odd parity. And during handshaking, computers will designate whether they want data to be sent with an even or odd parity.